Good morning. Let's see if I can not hit the camera stand this morning. I'm just bringing my footage, what I'm filming, up onto my tablet. So that I can see all your wonderful comments this morning. Oh. Well, that's not very convenient. Right. Oh, don't do that to me. Alrighty, I hope you're all well this morning and you caught my first live Facebook. Um, I do see that there's a few people watching, so while that's happening, just bear with me while I try and get my uh, tablet running and so that I can see what, see all your comments. Oh, God, all the neighbours are banging around this morning. Here we go. Now I can see myself. Comments on. All right. Good morning, Kerry Ann, Laura, Karen. There's a few of you watching this morning. Welcome, welcome. So today is the first day of the Great International Craft Show. It's an awesome event that we are going to be running, um, that I'm part of, for the next four days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And today we have a, on nataliemay.com.au, we have an awesome special. So today's special, as I mentioned this morning, is... 20% off all paper pads and collections. So that's a fantastic special that um, the prices are all automatically calculated at the checkout. Good morning, Cora. Um, automatically calculated at the checkout and we, um, yeah, postage is only $12.50. And what we actually do with that is allow you to Build on your order over the weekend. We will be posting orders on Monday, Tuesday. And um, so any other orders that you do, uh, you just use the no judgment postage. Postage is not free. It is still $12.50 for your first order. And then the rest of your orders are only four cents. Four cents. Alrighty, so I'm going to do a scrapbook layout today. And I've got these Gorsome, oh, Gorsome, Gorsome, Awesome embellishments from Jen Hatfield. So I love me some embellishments. I've just got a piece of cardstock here because what I like to do with an embellishment pack, good morning, Linda. Um, what I like to do with an embellishment pack is lay everything out to see what I've got. So I put all my leaves together. Um, now I haven't opened this before until now, so I've got no idea what I've got here. But I like to get a bit of a visual before I start. I've got some with colour. Lots of different sizes. So these are from the Peaceful Heart collection. And I'm just kind of putting them in colour order at the moment. And just getting a bit of a gist on what's here. And these are fantastic. Um, so this is the Peaceful Heart Morning Sonia. Uh, ephemera flowers so there's 50 pieces in this pack and then that so that's all the leaves and I'm now going to attempt oh no that's trying to get that piece out that's on the package nice work um, now I'm going to get the flowers out so putting them in a bit of a bit of a pile here just I mean, this is an excellent way of creating a quick layout just with one, efe one ephemera pack. But the really great thing is by laying them out like this first, you can see what you've got. And, and let's be honest, there's a lot of things that got 50 pieces in here is an absolute bucket load. So I want to make sure that I can, you know, I'm going to get the best out of the pack. And getting a visual rather than shuffling through and putting them all on one piece of cardstock. I would normally put them on a piece of white cardstock, but we all know that I get way too much flicker when we do that. 
It's a bit time consuming, but it's gonna make a massive difference when it comes to putting the embellishments on uh, towards the end. And I can see my colors as well. I've got a bit more of an idea on my colors. Um, all right, so I do apologize. For some reason, I do have internet problems today but just give it a whirl. We'll wait and see what happens. Hopefully it's okay. I think because half of the world is on lockdown at the moment, the internet can be a little bit um, dodgy, unfortunately. All right. Did you want me to flick over to my phone data instead of Wi-Fi? Is that gonna make a difference? That is the question. We'll play along and see what happens. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. So nataliemay.com.au, 20% off all paper today and um, $12.50 for postage for your first order and then it is, and then it's um, the no judgment. So I'm just reading the comments at the same time here. So also while I've got you all, the Natalie May scrapbooking community, creative community, um, just to give you a bit of an idea, we, I look after you guys over there. So we've got pre-orders up at the moment for Art by Marlene. I give you a bit of a heads up on what tomorrow's special might be. Um, so make sure you join the, the creative community. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Happy Dax, H-A-P-P-Y-D-A-K-S, and have a look at my blog as well. Right. I have a piece of plain white smooth cardstock here. And what I thought I might do is use these embellishments to go and create a bit of a, a wreath. I'm going to do something like that. But I also want to use a little bit of watercolours and use my new stencil. So my new stencil that um, is actually included... I've bloody lost it. Um, it's actually included in the kit, the October Art Journaling Kit. So if you have purchased the kit and... What have I done with it? Oh, goodness me. Um, if you've purchased the kit and you want to uh, join that class, you will automatically get the stencil. Here it is. Oh, it's a dirty stencil. There you go. It's a bit of a sneak peek about what, type, what the October class looks like. Um, so I think I might just do a bit of a circle and then I'll do some stenciling on the inside. Um, now, how am I going to do my circle? Let's have a look. So for those of you just tuning in for the first time, uh, the way I conduct my live Facebooks is pretty casual. I, um, I am a firm believer in not planning things, just giving it a bit of a whirl and going, I wonder what would happen if. So, oh, look at that. Louise is just pulling in the driveway. She's got a bit of a late start this morning. Um, so I'm going to use my Altenew watercolours, but before... Before I just whack it straight onto here, I've just got a piece of cardstock and what I want to do is I want to test the colours because I want to make sure that the colours that I choose are similar to my colour palette for the finished product. I just don't want to choose some random colour. I just want to, I do want to test it first. So I'm just going to pop that aside. The Ultra New watercolours are really lovely. They are nice and juicy colours and I love this, um, this peach here which is quite dark, but it's also got this skin coloured. Oh, they work along really nicely together. Um, there's a little bit of this purple sort of colour in here, which is not the right colour, so I won't use that. Um, and I might pop a bit of green in. Yeah, so, okay, having a bit of a play with the colours, I've got a bit of an idea. Um, and Louise is standing here at the door with my morning coffee. Goodness me. Good morning, Louise. Just that one. Thank you. Do you need me to open the front door for you? Is it it's, of course it's locked, babe. Got to no, keep... No, yeah, okay. Use your key. Got to keep the, keep the wobbers out. Oh, how's that for service? Love that. Okay. So totally professional operation here. Love that. Alrighty, so... <laughs> so let's get some colour down. All right. A plain piece of white cardstock. It's just smooth white cardstock. It is nothing more than that. It is not fancy. It's not marshmallow cardstock. It's not watercolour cardstock. It's just a plain cardstock. 
So I'm going to start off with my lightest colour and I'm actually thinking I might bring a bit of yellow in too because yellow's kind of nice. Let's have a look at the yellows that are on here. Testing first. All right. Paper towel handy because if I mess this up, I want to be able to dab it off pretty quickly. It's preparation. All right. And I'm going to start with yellow. So with your paint... Trying to do this to get it all in camera and have enough room for myself here so with your paint you do need to make sure that you utilize these little bits here on your palette now louise can't get in the front door oh are you in <laughs> hang on a minute guys okay Sorry about that, she's in. I thought you hit Struggle Town there, Lou. So what these bits here are for is, is mixing, you know, making a little wash of colour. So I like to make sure that I, I make a little wash here. Make a puddle or something that I that can then control. So I'm going to do a big, loose, and I mean loose, and that could be a circle. A bit more water, a bit more paint. How are you this morning? Good, thank you. Good, thank you. Good, good, good. Got a few lovely ladies watching here this morning. Right, I'm going to add in another colour now. So I'm not going to take this colour and put it straight on because that opens up an area for um, me not being able to make a correction. So this colour here is kind of like a a blush so I'm going to just do a light wash now the cool thing is is we're going to be adding some embellishments to this and we're also going to be adding some um, I'm going to do some stenciling in the background as well so I'm just being super loose now this next lot of like this is like a rouge rouge Is the um, footage still breaking up, girls, or have you got a nice clear picture? I'm just going to dab that off. So some of you picked up some bargains this morning. There's lots of amazing things on special this weekend. I've got lots and lots of goodies. Uh, make sure that you pop in and have a look at the bundles that we've got on special you'll find those under the show special um sorry you'll find them in the show bundles collection um in our menu so you'll definitely see those there um so you can see here that i'm just building that that color i want it loose i don't want it perfect like i said we're going to be adding color over the top and while I've got the watercolours out, I'm pretty happy with this. This is working quite well, although that's a little bright. Um, I'm going to add a few splatters. Then I'm going to do a little stenciling. So my splatters is just going to be over the top of where I've been. And it's just a little tap with my brush. And it's quite strong. So I'm just going to dab it off. So um, Lauren, this is the Ultanu watercolour palette. This is my go-to watercolour palette. Um, you'll find it under the watercolours category on nataliemay.com.au. Um, it's an investment piece, but I can tell you what, I've had this one easily a year and it is doing an amazing job. It is an excellent watercolour palette. Um, the pans, the colours are nice and juicy. There's a couple of different watercolour palettes available online through nataliemay.com.au. There's something there to suit all of the budgets and um, I only sell products that I recommend. Okay, so to give you a bit of an idea there. So hopefully that answered your question. Um, and after I do the, after I do the live, what I'll do is I'll put a photo up of my finished project here and then we will, and I'll link the products that I have used. So that's the Altenew, 36 pan i think it is so 
Cool, so I'm just gonna dab that off with some paper towel because I want to do a little bit of ink blending now with my new stencil. And I might just quickly hit, hit that with the heat tool. That I didn't plug in. You right there? Oh yeah, I'm just looking like a total amateur here, but you know. But that's what we do, we wing it. And I'm just going to take some of that dampness out of the paper so that I can then um, stencil and add a different medium. So I just put a hole, hole in the top of my um, cup of coffee there. Alrighty. Next, I want to add my stencil. Uh, I've, I've had a bit of a, I pulled out some inks out of my collection. Um, now, I mentioned in my previous live Facebook today that we got some brand new inks into the shop. The Catherine Paula inks are absolutely the bee's knees. They are it and a bit. So, um, I didn't want to open a pack, but what I did do is pulled some Altenew, um inks from my personal stash which have got the same same but similar colors in them so i want something pastel based to match to match this so what i've done is just done a little swatch here to show you um and this this will give me a bit of an idea on what i want to do so i'm going to use those three colors for my background so i'm going to use those um, I'm using the little Altenew blending brushes because they are lovely and soft. They clean up beautifully, but you could use a range of blending tool. You could use one of the, where is it? One of these guys that would work equally as well. Um, but today I'm using the Altenew blending brushes. So I take my lids off. And I put them here in colour order of light to dark. I do this so that I cannot theoretically mess it up. So I'm going to use my ink, brush it on, just like that. Now you can see with this layer, I kind of started this sort of pattern across here. So that is what I'm going to continue on with. And I'm going to lightly blend it into my paint as well so it's connecting and now i'm going to go to another color and i'm not cleaning my brush because i'm lazy oh now the phone's ringing and louise has just stepped outside you know oh that one's a little darker than i anticipated that's okay so I'm going to take that up off the page a little if you're ringing ring I'll have to ring you back um, Alice today um, Alice has just asked the question what Vicky Booten products are on special um, we've got Vicky Booten patterned papers on special today there may be something on special tomorrow Ooh, 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 look at that um, there may be something different on special tomorrow but I'm not going to tell you what that is uh, the pattern papers and or paper pads are all on special for today at 20% off all right so this is my brand new stencil that I have designed and I was saying last night when I did a live Facebook in my little private group, the Natalie May Scrapbooking Community, that um, Dilusions overnight, over this week, have also released stencils. And um, I don't know how we both managed to release the same looking stencil, considering I have hand done all of these little hexes. Um, so that cracked me up. Oh, well, we all know there's nothing original anymore. 
So I'm just gonna lightly blend these out. I do love these little brushes. They are fantastic. And I'm gonna take a little of the yellow and blend it down that way and take it off the page at the top up here as well. As it's that whole great minds think alike, I reckon. There we go. Loving it. I'll bring it up to camera to show you. So my colors match fairly well. And that comes from just taking the colors and, um, and swatching them first, having a look and seeing what's, what's here testing it on a scrap piece of paper first, just to make sure that my colors are actually going to work together. The next thing I wanna do is I thought I might do a little bit of stamping on my background. So I pulled out my Hero Arts French script stamp. Just excuse my little identifier here. I use these for um, identifying that it's mine. Kind of looks a little like me, but that's okay. So I want to use this French script stamp across my page. And I thought I might use um, that really deep rouge color. So because I'm using a little mini ink pad, I'm just going to lightly swipe and I don't want it to be perfect. So I'm just going to layer like that. I want a really broken imprint of a, a, a really broken stamp rather than a perfect stamp and I'm taking it off the page it's all about connecting it to the edges okay so I've got it connected on the bottom connected on the side connected on the top and I'm doing what's called off stamping so I'm making sure that I'm I'm taking it taking the excess stamp off but what it also does is it gives me a shade and a tone of that ink color rather than a beautiful bright every time it still looks fantastic, but it's going to give me a really lovely finish. And there's my easy background, okay? What would have been good is if I had a photo mat. So let's just pretend, no, that's right, wrong, hang on. I thought I got one out, let's see. Oh, here we go. Uh, photo, so all my photos are still at my old studio. I haven't got any real photographs, so let's just cut this one down to size. It's currently sitting at, what's that, four by a little bit under six. So that's your standard sort of photo size. I tend to not have it use a standard photo size. I like to use something, um, I always crop my photographs in. Sorry, I've got to drink that coffee while it's hot. So I'm going to take that to, say, four and a quarter by just under just under four so that I've got a nice little cropped photograph. Next thing I want to do is I've just gone through my stash. Now I am like every other scrapbooker and I have a hard time throwing out off cuts of paper so, you know, I've got a few random pieces that I just pulled out in similar colors. I don't even know what brand these are, but I've had them forever and ever and ever. So I'm going to now mat my photograph. So the way that I mat my photos is I grab some double-sided tape. Um, I would normally foam mount, but I'm not that organized. And I keep it pretty simple. So I'm going to go with the bottom of this because this top bit's a bit dark and the bottom bit's a bit more pink based. And I'm just going to lightly, I'm just going to give it a nice little edge. Grab a trimmer. I'm not a measure and cut person, which is, you know, let's be honest, no shock to anybody here. Um, but I'm just going to eyeball it. When I create my projects, I create for me. I'm not creating to impress you. The other thing I don't do, and anyone who um, has purchased a kit from me will know, 
and I always write it in my kit instructions, that I never tape edge to edge. I always only put like one little piece of tape in the middle just so that I can build on it. I like to be able to build my background rather than build my background rather than make it um, you know solid I would prefer to just grab a, a piece of paper and be able to tuck something up underneath it um, am I going to go vertical I'm going to go vertical so now I'm going to do that grab a pair of scissors pop that on there it doesn't matter if it goes that way or that way might go that way I've got some spotty paper here in similar sort of colors so I'm just gonna grab a little of that I'm just gonna turn my light on oh look at that I'm all about using off cuts and strips and bits and pieces of paper just to to help build build a story build a background in underneath okay so I love to do a little of that, do a little of that, take the scissors, do a little of that. Hey Lou, could you just grab the shop phone for me please? Someone has just rung oh, wow. the minute you stepped out of the room. Jeez, it's nice outside. I know, it's a beautiful day here in Radelaide. It's just over there, babe. So you can see that I'm just starting to build up and the spots kind of work in with the background as well. I could also add in a little of green. Do I? No. Nope. No. Nope. Step away. Nice, Step away from the green. The green's lovely. These are papers that have just come out of my personal stash. Um, scraps because I knew that I wanted to build something like this. And I might go with that colour a bit more under there. What am I looking for? Tape. See, just like that, I forget what I'm doing. All right. And now I have a nice little pile of papers ready to go to pop onto my page. Hello, Heather. What brand are those little daubers? Lorraine, they are the ultra new little daubers, babe. Um, they come in a four pack, I think. And they are really lovely to use. Um, so I'm now going to use some of these little adhesive foam dots. These are the dots that are actually in the little bundles um, that we have available for the show special. And they... Are just the right height to um, to lay on your page so there we go so I'm gonna pop that down eh, you know there done so yeah they're just a nice little thickness so they're part of the adhesive bundle that is um, Available as part of our bundle special. So our little bundle that we've got for the show um, covers, um, <laughs> covers, yeah, lots of different bundles. We've got like a scrapbooking paper bundle. We have a bundle that is for paint tools. Um, we have a bundle that is adhesives. We've got all sorts of things. Sorry, I've just realized how bad my camera is. There we go. Sparkly. Sparkle bundle. I'm gonna use the sparkles today, Louise. I am, and it's not glitter, because I don't love glitter. Okay, let me talk you through this embellishment pack. How do I build that? So I've built my colours based all around what I've got here. So my favourite flowers, I always pick out my favourite things first, because I want them to be the hero. I love that. So I'm building a cluster. I love, that's a bit big. I love that. I love the light one there. I like something like that. I like the yellow. And then what I'm gonna do is 
a couple of different things. I, my couple of options here, I could work around my page to create like a, a wreathy sort of wreath, wreath thing. Is that the word? Wreath? Like that, like that. And the cool thing is, is I can cut these. So that one can go there, there. But I always lay them out first. I never put anything just smack down on the page. I do also love these ones here with the black, black, um, <laughs> oh, now there's someone at the door. Turn that doorbell off. And I can work around building, building, building. Building, building, building. Radio. And then I can pop some of these in. So I can kind of see what's going on here with, with creating. There we go. And so we're going to do that. Right. Now, I'm going to leave this area here. But what I will do is I'm going to work around the page. So I'm going to grab my adhesive, which I can't find. Oh, here we go. I've got my Nuvo. That one will do. And what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of glue down here. Um, there we go. Come on, out you come. I only put a tiny amount down and then I can foam tape up the rest. So I'm going to go up there. Right, and now I'm going to take that one and I'll do the same thing. <laughs> She's a dag. Uh, and then I'm going to go with this one here. I think cutting them up is going to give me a little bit more of a layering option. This is an excellent set. So for those of you who have just tuned in, I'm just creating a, a quick scrapbook layout using the, uh, what are we using? Jen Hatfield Peaceful Heart embellishments and creating a quick and easy little scrapbook page. So what will happen is when this glue dries, I will be able to lift up that top bit and then tuck in some foam dots, tuck in some flowers, tuck in some other little pretty bits, you know, pretty bits. Um, like so. Sorry, I'm missing all the comments. Hello, Jennifer Hedger. How are you this morning? I see you watching from Perth. I hope everything is great in your world. The lovely Jennifer popped in last week. Um, the fearless leader of Dusty Attic. Designer goddess woman herself. I'm just going to, oops, sorry. I realise I'm doing that off camera there, guys. Oh, you've just got home from Adelaide. Well, you've missed a perla of a day here. It is a stunner. So you can see here with these little leaves, I'm just tucking them all underneath. So you cannot see any of those, um, those cut edges. That's really, really important. I don't want to see any cut edges. I want to hide, I want to hide all of those bits and pieces. So I was, uh, for those of you just tuning in today, as part of the Great Australian International <laughs> Craft Show online, um, all weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, four times a day, you will catch a live Facebook from me here at Natalie May Scrapbooking. Uh, we will be doing all sorts of different things, live, free, mini classes, uh, where you can jump on and check out new techniques. What did I do with that one that I just put glue on? Yeah. Um, different techniques, 
having little demo sessions. I'll be doing everything from art journaling through to cards. Um, I'm going to do an art journal page today as well. That'll be coming up at 1.30 right back here. Uh, we will be doing all sorts, um, all about techniques and trying something new, showing you some great products that we have available um, online. Okay, so I'll be having a bit of a play with, oh, I don't know, what else have we got? I'm going to take this one, give it a bit of a direction this way because I want to join those up there. Um, I'm going to be having a play with some other things in the shop, some glitter paper tomorrow. Gosh, help me. Um, not our favourite thing, but I'm going to give it a red hot go because it's not always about what I like to create with. It's also what about you like to create with. Um, I'm going to be, I might do another scrapbook layout this afternoon maybe. I don't know yet. I might just see how the day takes me. Um, so yeah, lots of really cool things. And all my classes are always free here on the Natalie May scrapbook page. But I also offer some paid classes as well. So if you're wanting to know a little bit about perhaps art journaling, I've just released an, a new online class which will start in October. And it's going to be all about art journaling, how to start, why we art journal, all the things that you need to know about art journaling. Okay, so it is suitable for everyone. It's suitable, uh, you know, just for learning. We will do a scrapbook page, uh, sorry, scrapbook page, an art journal page or two. But it's mostly, you know, the tools that you need, how to use those tools. The tools that I use all the time, um, the, the sort of journal that you think you might need to invest in, all of those sorts of things, that's what we're going to be doing, okay? We're going to be studying all of those bits, all right? Um, now, I'm just going to start adding in some flowers, all right? So, we're going to start adding in, so, yes, Monica, I will be hanging, playing with alcohol inks this weekend. Um, I think I might do that... I don't know. I haven't really actually worked out too much of a schedule yet. I've got four days. There's 16 live Facebooks to do. So I'm kind of, you know, having a bit of a play trying to... See, the reason I didn't want to use that one, it's got too much purple in it. Um, yeah, so there's going to be something to suit everyone this weekend. But yes, I will be covering um, alcohol inks. And I will be covering the, that at some stage in the next four days, maybe once, maybe twice. So I'm just popping a little foam dot underneath just to give those flowers a little bit of a lift, okay? Um, okay, let's start. I need something here. Oh, I need that there. That's a good. That's a good spot. So using the little adhesive dots that are in our our bundle. So little dot in the middle, and anchoring the base of the flower with the with the glue. Need some more down here, don't I? Like this one. Anchoring it with the glue. Right, now, we're on the right track now. So what I want to do is start building my, my flower cluster in and around here. So this particular flower here is going to be my hero. I really love that one, and it's a great match with the colours that I've chosen. Um, I'm going to grab some thicker foam tape to give more dimension. So I'm going to be using this big boy. This is the Altenew. 33 meter roll. This is um, my, my favorite and it's got great packaging, let's be honest. Uh, so I'm going to pull off. Some of that. I've just got to sit that off screen. So what I'll do now is 
give that, put my hero on first. Now I can build in and around it. So this one here, this is a nice one. I like it. I wonder if that was just stuck to my face. That was great. <laughs> Pop that one there. And then I'm going to start building my flowers, my cluster in and around there before I have a look for my um, title. Because the title can be the fun bit as well. Ugh, super sticky. Tuck in a couple of these little ones. So I'm tuck that in on the side. And I love the shape of that one. Actually, that might not. Oh, ooh. Oh, okay. Just decided to do that. I'll stick another one in now for balance because you can't just have one. Well, you can, but it's not ideal. Two. <sighs> da, da, da. Tina's just said, looking forward to those three classes. Quite a lot of you have booked in. So the other really great thing about these new, uh, the new Art Journal Basics online class is that if you book it and order by the end of September, I'm going to give you an early bird special on the pricing. So what that means is that I will, um, it'll be $58 for the three classes instead of 78. So uh, great pricing on that just for you guys, okay? Just for the end of September. So it's a really good opportunity to learn about art journaling, to learn some new techniques, to get some information um, and I do it in a private Facebook group where you can go back and watch it at any time which is really important so you don't have to watch it all in one session you can go back and watch it um, later at your own leisure you can watch it when you have a weekend away with the girls you can watch it when you are sick of your husband and you want to put your earphones on and zone out you know you know those times all right so I'm pretty happy with how that's looking I'm just going to leave it like that um, what will I've still got heaps of embellishments left over as well which is fabulous uh, the all of these little elements here although they're not stuck down what I will do is off camera is take it one of these little foam dots and just go through and anchor some of them. Um, I won't. I don't need to anchor all of them because I'm using a really good quality glue. So once I pop it in a scrapbook, uh, in a sleeve for my album, <laughs> um, the the they won't go anywhere. So it's not a problem. But if you're one of those people, you can always go back and do what I'm doing now, like lift and tuck, so that they have a little bit of. Um, and lift and tuck that's what we all need on a thursday morning mind you the first facebook post that i did this morning i thought it was friday i nearly put the friday special up that would have gone badly um but yeah you can kind of see what i'm doing here we're, we're lifting those up giving that a bit of dimension and then i will uh i'll bring it up to camera and show you all of these details in a minute of course and then after the live i will take a photograph and put it up and link the products that we have used so that you have a bit of an idea, all right? So, title. We need to put a title on. We need a bit of a story to go with our, oh, and I need an outline. Um, we need a bit of a title to go, to talk about what this page is all about. So, I recently bought in from home, like recently, yesterday, recently, um, some of my half open packets of thickers and alphabets I 
I seem to collect white, gold, black, and, and wordy ones. So what I like is that, especially with white alphabets and white thickers, um, you can color them to any color that you like with paint or or ink or whatever I want to. I can, I can make it work for me to give me a title that's gonna suit. Um, I could use a texture to color it in. Sometimes, um, sometimes a black title is gonna stand out and look amazing. Let's see what I've got here with a black title. So these are some of the Vicky Booten um, details, uh, details, thickers. I might do, what do we got here? Smile, often, storyteller, the details. I might do, today was beautiful, today was beautiful. I just did Vicky Booten thing and started singing while I'm teaching. I'm so sorry about that. Nobody needs to hear that. I might use this one here, which says memories. Right, so where do we put it? First thing, oh, did you get rid of that? What I wanna do first up is I'm going to cut it off of here so I can layer it around my page to see where it's going to suit. It's got a transparent background, bonus. Soon, you're going to see where, I mean, it could look great up there. What I like about something dark is I've got dark um, lines in my background. But I think I'm going to put it here. I'm okay with it running across my leaves and into my page. All right. Now, this particular one comes off in separate individual little pieces. It's not connected. So that, that leads to me having just a little bit more patience. Yeah, I know. That's like a thing. And I'm going to go there. So my photograph will go here. And my photograph will be able to tuck in under here and tuck in under there. And what I also like to do is I peel half of it off. No, it's not going to let me do it. Of course it's not. Okay. There we go. Right, how do I put this on? I've got my clear ruler and I'm just going to stick half of it on my clear ruler. Was it on an angle? Yeah, no, that's right. Look at me doubting myself. and we stick it down. Commit to it, people, commit to it. Don't fluff around with it, it's a scrapbook page. It's about telling the story. Right, let's get some of these guys on. So these little um, jemmy things, sparkly things, are part of the, we've got them available with the special, the online special bundle, the sparkles bundle. God, Natalie, use your words. Um, now, I did have a pin floating around. I wonder, I need a pin because my, oh, no, hang on. I'll use my tweezers because my dimensional magic has blocked up. So what the pin is going to, no, it's well and truly blocked up. Wretched thing. What the, what the glass balls do, glass domes, is there we go okay so these are great because i'm going to put it on the back of my hand and show you these just they look like mirrored little accents um i've got a few here in different sizes sorry about my been in the sun too long hands um but i've got them here in a few different sizes. So there's two sizes, I think eight mil and 10 mil available in the, in the sparkles pack. Um, 
And what I do is I use Dimensional Magic or Glossy Accents. I put a dob down and then I just lay the little dot, the little dome on top of it. They're excellent little gap fillers and they sparkle. Um, I like to mix up sizes. I've got a couple of different sizes here. The other thing that you could use and I will possibly put onto my page as well is some enamel dots. Enamel dots also give a nice little bit of sparkle. Um, the reason I use Dimensional Magic and not normal glue to stick these on is because I like that it dries clear. And you can see that I'm just sliding them into place and kind of tucking it in underneath some of these, these little elements, okay? And you gotta think about balance. I want my, my sparkly bits to be balanced as well. That one's too big. One in under there and I like I said I'll bring them up to camera in a minute to show you the the nice pop of shimmer that that is giving all right okay let's pop these back in my jar um, once I open the packet I use these little spice jars from Ikea to keep them in uh, so that they are all together So they are in the sparkle pack. Um, and I'm gonna show you some of these little enamel dots as well. So enamel dots are excellent because they also offer another level of, I don't quite know why I wanted glue. I've been collecting these since the middle ages. I've had them for years and years and years and I have all the colors. I've got the Altenew ones, I've got waffle flower ones, I have lawn fawn, I have lots of different brands. And they are what some of my favorite things to put on pages for embellishments. Pop around the page. Do I need that dark orange? I don't think so. Excuse What's me, what is that? <laughs> What's, don't they know that I'm live on Facebook? How rude. It's, it's a like, beautiful day, everyone's outside. Everyone's outside. <laughs> well guys, can you just hang out till I've finished, if you don't mind? That banging going on. I don't want the dark red. Well, maybe I do want the dark red. But they just they just give a nice little pop. Is that Bruce? I thought I saw Bruce leave. Not sure. Don't know. Anyway. All right, so these are really inexpensive embellishments that will give your page a lift. And that is, is easy enough to do. All right, and knowing when to stop is important, which is apparently about now. Righty-o, let me bring it up to camera. Let me talk you through what we've done. And then I will, oh, no, 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 no. I'll show you, I'll tell you why I need to do an outline. I'll bring it up to camera first. Because I have created this background, so we have a plain piece of white cardstock, we have inked our background. I'm gonna turn that camera off, sorry guys, so it won't flicker. We have inked, we have watercolored our background. See how these, these here are in black, this is in black. I need to do a black border all the way around. So I just have a, a thin pilot pen which is my favorite little thin black pen and I'm going to do a, a loose black border the other thing about doing a loose black pen border is when you add your handwritten journaling to your scrapbook page that's where you will um, also connect it in and I do hear you all laughing and smirking under your breaths about the handwritten journaling but I'm not going to go on and lecture you about that because it's important to add journaling to your pages at the very least who's in the photo where the photo was taken 
and when the photo was taken, just so that when we are no longer around to tell the story, whoever pulls your scrapbook layout out of the mini skip, or you know your family members pick it up, they wanna know who's in the photos that you put on there. You need to tell the story. All right, there you go. But it has, that black border has tied it all together really quite nicely. All right, put it on the back, exactly, Karen. If you don't, that's what I've actually done with all my layouts at home. Where I haven't been comfortable writing on the front, I have put it in the back. Put it on the back. Okay, that's it from me. So, um, to talk you through what we've done, we've done our watercolour using the ultra new watercolours. We did a circle to lay down our base. We then used my brand new stencil that I um, released this week with some inks and these gorgeous little uh, blending, ultra new blending brushes and popped them over the background. We used the uh, Hero Art script, French script stamp to stamp over the top for a bit of contrast used the Jen Hatfield 50 pack of ephemera flowers from the Peaceful Heart collection. To create a bit of a wreath, we used some of these sparkly bits from, that are in the part of the sparkle bundle and also some enamel dots in there as well. So jump online to nataliemay.com.au you will find everything there on special. Hopefully everything will be lovely and easy for you to find. For today only, not tomorrow, today only, you will get 20% off of all paper pads and collections. Um, $12.50 for your postage. And then after your first order, you can add tomorrow and you can add tomorrow for the very, very small price of no judgment, four cents and we will bundle everything together and post next week. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I look forward to chatting with you all soon. Stay safe, wash your hands, kiss your kids, get vaxxed. Chat to you later.